So you created a good portfolio, you had a nice resume, and you are invited to an interview with a game studio. What can you expect? What do you need to do in order to prepare to nail the job interview and get hired in your favorite studio? Well, first things first, do you need to know algorithms, data structures, and all that stuff? It depends. You might be asked those things, you might not be asked those things. Again, it depends for the role or from the role you are applying to. If you are applying to be a graphics programmer, the person who's going to work on the 3D graphics of the game and shaders, engine code. So go in the source code of the engine. Maybe it will be the custom engine from the studio, maybe Unreal Engine, Unity, whatever. That's where you know or need to know these more advanced things. If you are applying for specific roles like a gameplay programmer, character programmer, animation programmer, enemy AI programmer, you're probably not going to need these things because they are built in anyways. When you are test on these things, it's only to see if you actually know how they work. Now, other things that you can expect to have as a question on the interview is about your project. So that's why I always say to my students inside Game Dev Pro, when you put a project on your portfolio, make sure that you know, of course, you created that project and so on and so forth, but you need to know the ins and outs and not only of ins and outs in terms of where you put the code and stuff like that, but how you created that project, which approach did you take, how you optimize the code, which game design programming patterns did you implement? Because you will probably be asked which programming patterns you implement in your project and why, how did you solve this problem? How did you approach this problem and so on and so forth? What What's important to remember when it comes in situations like this, when you're asked about specific thing that you did, how you solved it, you don't have to over explain every single line of code. You don't have to explain every single detail. This is just so that the game studio can see basically your way of thinking to see how you approach problem solving. Don't stress if you are asked some question and you don't know the answer 100%, it's not a problem. The main thing is that they see your way of thinking, your way of approaching, approaching to solve problem solving and so on and so forth. And that's why one of the things and this is also really good to know and important to remember when you're on job interview is that the game studios will give you an unsolvable question. So they will give you a task, maybe on a whiteboard. If you are in person interview, you'll write code on the whiteboard. And if you are online, so interviewing via Zoom, whatever, you will write on Google Doc, I believe, because they want to see how you write. So first things first, do not worry. Don't overthink about writing the syntax correctly because you don't have autocomplete. You're not working in a development environment. Do not worry about having autocomplete and all of that stuff because that is not a problem since you can, you know, make a mistake there. Also, don't overthink for the answer when you try and it's a good you you can have your time like take one two three four five minutes to think about the problem before you start tackling it but what's important to remember is again just show your problem solving skills and how you approach to problem solving that's the most important thing and if after five minutes, 10 minutes, you see that the problem is really hard to crack. Well, most likely that's a non-solvable problem. So it cannot be solved and say it. Okay, this problem cannot be solved or this is the depth that I went through. I will probably have to test it because I cannot, you know, you don't know if that is going to work if you're on a whiteboard or coding in a Google Doc. Also, one thing to be prepared for, like no matter which answer you give, if the problem is solvable, if the problem is not solvable, at the end, the recruiter is almost always going to ask ask you, how, how can you improve this? How can you make it more better? Which is basically programming. So you first write something, make it work, and then you make it work better. Another, and this is the last tip that I'm going to leave you with on for the job interview. Of course, there are many other questions that you might or might not be asked. These are just some of them that you can think for and prepare for. But what's really important is at the end of the interview, when they leave space to you, make sure that you ask them questions. Do not be unprepared for this, that you don't have any questions to ask Game Studio, because if you don't have any questions to ask them, that will look like you're not interested that too much to work in that Game Studio, did not research them and all of that stuff. And of course, prior to that, you're going to research the Game Studio, which I assume everybody who applies to, you know, if I want to work in this Game Studio, I am going to research and see what the studio is like, which games they are creating and yada, yada, yada. You get the point. So make sure that you have questions prepared, ready, have notes that you bring with you and also take notes during the interview. That's is a, this is a really big plus. So take notes when you are on the interview and make sure that they see you taking the notes because when they see you taking the notes, it looks like you're serious, you have prepared for it. If you maybe want to take a look at some things that happen at the interview that you did not quite know, you want to look them up and all of that stuff. So basically, these are some things that you can do to increase your chances of getting hired. Of course, this goes in more depth that we cover inside Game Dev Pro and all of that stuff, but this is enough for you to go and prepare basically for a lot of the parts of the job interview. So yeah, have any questions? Let me know in the comments down below.